<laughs> Welcome back to The Five. So a new report suggests that climate change could lead to mental illness. The Sydney Morning Herald notes that one in five people report emotional injury, stress, and despair after extreme weather, which they link to climate change. Now, a lot of global warming science looks like this. It's hypothetical bias designed to foster guilt, fear, and grant money. But let's be clear. Emotional injury and stress are not mental illness. They're normal responses to bad stuff, like natural disasters. But real mental illness comes from other factors, and this study seems to imply that if you were a little more green, people wouldn't be so ill. So it makes me think maybe climate change doesn't cause mental illness. Mental illness causes climate change hysteria. Or rather, the harmful chicken little mentality causes panic-prone PhDs to conjure up any link they can find to climate change, which then leads to junk science like this. Think about everything we're told that, that's caused by global warming. Acne, bee stings, bird loss, cannibalism. Uh, here's a list. And it keeps going. Ultimately, hysteria creates a hellish fantasy that addles the brain of its believers. Keeps going, doesn't it? No wonder Al Gore has lost it. And we still have racism, God knows. But it's so different now. It's so much better. And we have to win the conversation on climate. In some quarters, it has become almost politically incorrect to use the word. And maybe volcanoes. And maybe sunspots. It's not getting warmer. See what happens? Hey, Eric, the thing that bugs me... I. You know, did, I, we're kind of laughing at this, but it's kind of a gross idea that they're linking mental illness, which is a real problem, to, to, to uh, natural, natural disasters hypothetically caused by climate change. They're t- it's it's kind of insulting to people with real, prob- real mental illness. You're isn't right. It? It's insulting. Yeah, and it's also insulting that Al Gore comes up with that comment. We've got to go back to it. <laughs> Racism. If you don't believe in global warming, you're a ra- What? You're a racist? Mm-hmm. I mean, come on, Al. I mean, he's clearly, clearly lost it. Uh, he's he mocking me over you here. You believe in the link, don't you? You think there's a bullshit? <laughs> um, the uh, all I can say here. What was that? It, it was my attempt at beeping myself uh, <laughs> out before the producers yelled at me again. Uh, listen, um, I happen to believe, on a serious note, that global warming is not only real; it has changed the dynamics of this planet. It has caused a lot of these things, like. A lot of these natural disasters, and people do get bummed out as a result of that. There are lasting post-traumatic stress syndromes from it, and it is a serious illness. And for you guys to laugh it off is a great mistake. That's the point. We weren't laughing it off. I think it's actually laughing at people with serious problems, this kind of stuff. It's it's an article meant to create fear and paranoia. It is only on this show that you could get this many people who really believe in flat earth. You're making the leap between post-traumatic stress syndrome and climate change. (laughs) making it a blame but bob makes yeah. a point obama's a natural disaster and he bums people out that, there you go I, that was a nice shot that, look good one I, I, you know well, everybody why likes- liberals never want to focus on mental illness i agree with you it's very serious but mean? we had the arizona shooting and rather than talk about the fact that jared lautner has a serious degree, uh, disease mental illness they blamed it on guns now again they're blaming climate change on mental i mean it's just every single it is serious piece, serious piece of mental illness legislation in the congress of the united states has been passed by democrats that is, we, I mean, uh, and it's been opposed uh, by Republicans. That's not Ed true. Kennedy that is wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. President Bush signed that bill. I was passed there in the Oval Office. It was passed by a bipartisan. It was the Republicans were in the majority. Uh, the, so let's, I, the, 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 let's just check the had, facts on that. Few, that's not second. fair. The Ted Kennedy bill. Uh, do you remember the, ma- the major That's the one, one he signed. It didn't uh, pass without oh, bipartisan I'm sure he signed support. it because it's a law. Eric, but how do we get onto this? That's Republicans not, yeah, care I'm, about I'm, I'm not trying to figure out how uh, Dana is trying to convince Bob that President Bush was more into global warming than we think. No, no, I, no, I didn't no, say that. No, no what I said is that it's un- I have said you can agree that there is global warming. You might not agree that it's, you might not know if it's caused directly by humans. Mm -hmm. What I don't understand is why they don't channel some of this energy to actually getting something done and constructive. Exactly. I don't know why Al Gore all of a sudden is back out of the closet. Like he was in this box (laughs) and we did, he was, his reputation was improving, his legacy was better and all of a sudden he's been like crazy for four months. He has been, he he has overreacted but he is the the leading spokesperson on global warming and And here the fact of it is, are you happy about the fact that he's the spokesperson for global warming? Yes, I am and by the way, 99% 
99.9 percent of the people don't agree with you. It's not the other no, way I'm around. Numbers, we are in the massive Bob, majority. Your numbers you and Greg, are Bob. I think when Greg believe this crap, and it's just it's ridiculous. Bob, calm down, calm down. I'm I not wanna, calm I, down. No, I want. I want. I want to talk about something that's far more important than all of this, and that is the new cast of Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> This, I don't even know why we waited this long for this, but it's amazing. Do you know who's going to be on? This I is do. incredible. You got Carson Kressley from uh, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Chaz Bono. I love him. China Phillips. David Arquette. You guys are thrilled, aren't you? No. Go ahead. Uh, the big favorite, Bob, Nancy Grace. Yeah, She's great. going to grace the floor. Can you imagine if she stepped on your foot when you were dancing? <laughs> I mean, uh, why don't she stick to courtrooms, man? I mean, I, I, I just, well, she had a run, right? When she, what was that woman's name? Of the, the one, one I know where you're going covered with forever, this. Uh, the, 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 never mind. Yeah, uh, yeah. The one that you like so much? Yes. That's what made Nancy Gray. She got to be a big deal because she covered a bunch of sick uh, crime stories. Oh, wow. And now she's dancing. That's fine. Let her anything. do the twist. <laughs> I think liberalism causes mental illness. <laughs> no, I think on this point. <laughs> Who's teasing? Oh, Greg's got a tease. I'll do it, unless you want to do it, Bob. I'll do it. Okay, coming up. I've decided every day I can't come up with an original idea. I'm going to bribe someone to do it for me. Wait, no. That's what one Ohio lawmaker is doing. The five continues next. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> Just got